Well, here I am again. I've got some juicy information. Well, messages, things I've said already today. Actually, things that have been said multiple times throughout history, but I'm saying it from a different perspective. I was watching videos from Abraham Hicks and you know, all that and motivational stuff on YouTube. And it gave me a lot of good ideas in relation to feeling more at peace. And it's so simple. And it's just like, it's a vibration within your body. You have to admit a certain frequency if you want to attract it. I mean, it's like not even in the way that everyone thinks, you know, it's like a lot of people think it's, they want more money. And so they get attached and they get obsessed with the more money aspect. And if they don't see it like now, then it's just not ever going to happen. The manifestation didn't work because I didn't give it enough time. It didn't happen within a day. If you really think that's how it works, you're doing it wrong. And I did it wrong for a long time, just like that. It's funny now, <laughs> now that I have gotten to this point to where I do not see things like that anymore. And it's actually so simple and it's a lot more simple. It's, it's not as hard as people think it is. It's just, it's just not this difficult thing. It's not like this, this oh so scary, like, I mean, it might be at first, it definitely will be at first to venture out. I mean, perhaps you just don't want to be stuck to a label or is it like a title? Because I'm trying to, trying to get out of the mindset you see that a lot of people have in regards to how you're supposed to live. The whole nine to five thing uh, it keeps coming up because it's, it's the last thing I'm trying to let go of. You see, it's just hanging on, hanging on for dear life right now. And the best way I see it for me to just move forward is just literally to let it go. I mean, you have to, you have to have faith. You have to have faith in the unknown. You see, if I haven't made sense up until this point, then you shouldn't still be watching. I'm not sure why you're still watching if you don't understand anything I'm saying. Then again, a lot of people watch things they don't understand and do things they don't understand every day. I see it like, if you want to be happy, just be happy. Look, this makes me happy. Look at this, this uh, sun, sunset, the sun gleaming and it, it just radiating off the street like that. Does that just make you happy? Like that's why I put in my wallpaper. But stuff like that, little things, it's little things throughout the day. I feel fancy, I wear pants, I'm going to put these shoes on because I like them, I don't know, whatever. I mean, life is literally what you make it. If you're going to sit around being miserable that you lack things, you're always going to be lacking things. <laughs> it's just going to be consistently happening for you, miserable, miserable, constant. I don't have what I want, so I never have what I want. Think of it more like I always have what I want. I want this computer, I want this desk, I have all these things. Everything is like, everything I have is what I want. If you want something you don't have, then you might not need it, or maybe it's not what you actually want. <laughs> you see, the universe has your best interest in mind if you have the best interest for yourself. It's about loving yourself. And it's a different perspective than everyone likes to think it is because they want to they want to be all like love yourself that's selfish you I, I can't just sit around i don't have time to meditate and, and i can't do this and then it's like what do you mean you don't have time you literally have all the time in the world like what else are you gonna do i literally spend most of my day meditating like i'm living how i want to live are you i mean I, I feel like i wouldn't be able to function if i didn't do yoga every day I'd be like, oh, I'm stiff. Like, I have to go outside now and sit by that tree. Like, I have to work out now because that's just what I've always done. And it's 
my life. I don't know, it's who I am. And hopefully my head didn't get cut off there. I've been talking, and the whole time I'm talking, I'm feeling like my camera's angled wrong and my whole head is just gonna be chopped off. But I, I, I got the height with the picture. So anyway, back to my point. Everyone wants to label things and get attached to material items and, and have these uh, reoccurring... See, a lot of things that happen are not even your fault. Like, sometimes you get... You, you have to go through these things to experience these things, to learn the lessons, to have the aha moments. If you just, I want to be perfect and you just snap your fingers, you're not even going to know how to handle it. Like, you wouldn't have the right... <laughs> you wouldn't have the right mindset for that. Holy shit. I've seen people at work who can't even... <clears throat> There's a lot of people that I've come in contact with that handle situations differently than I ever would. And it's kind of funny actually watching it because you can't help but start to think about how their home life, like how do they live, that's how they live their life. Like, I mean, it's, it's sad, but at the same time, it's just like not that sad because they're not taking care of themselves. So why would I have any sympathy for someone who doesn't care about themselves? I'm not going to care about someone who doesn't care about them. <sighs> I, see, it's a different, different, let's say it's different. Like if someone has no desire whatsoever to help themselves, you cannot force them to get help. It's like, you know, forcing, just putting them in handcuffs and taking them to a mental hospital, a mental hospital if they're not willing to be there and accept the help that's being given. It's just going to bounce right back off of them. You can't force it. I mean, you can't force anything because then it just wouldn't work and then it would just cause resistance and then it would just uh, make everything else seem less. I mean, it'll just make everything more stressful. Clearly. Think of it like that. And yes, keep battling those constant comments that like to pop up from my old lifestyle, my old timeline that involve, well, that doesn't pay the bills. Let's just wipe that, wipe, wipe it, wipe it. Let's just, let's just get rid of that. Paying bills is not what your life revolves around. You see, it's not about just, let me just find a job just so I can pay the bills. Think about that. Think about that. Like, what do you do? You work, you work super hard, and you go home and recuperate from work, thinking about work, trying not to think about work, and then you wake up and just do the shit all over again. You go to work, you try not to hate yourself while you're at work, you try to have the good attitude while you're at work, you try to be, become who they need you to be within their criteria of, to get the job done for a bigger picture. And then you are getting thrown through the ringer and not appreciated and around all this negative, degrading energy. Oh, let's get out of that. That is my past. And you can get out of that. I mean, it's simple, really. I mean, it's not, it's simple now that I'm saying it, but you have to, like, you have to go, th you have to have patience, <laughs> like you have to wait, you have to do the things you have to do the things that get you there, if that makes sense. Like everyone just wants it now. Cause I remember I was at that stage. I was watching these YouTube videos, these people, whatever, just living their lives. It's like, I want to do that. And then I just watch them and then I'd get so sad and just be like, oh, but I can't. And why can't I? Why can't you? Why can't anyone? Because you have yourself stuck in this slave mindset that you, you have to go to work. I have to go to work. I, I have to. I have to go to work. Like, no, you fucking don't. Maybe right now, today, yes. Maybe the next year, yes. Maybe for five years, yes. Like me. And that's just what if that's what it takes. But for me, thank God it happened when it did. I feel like my whole life shifted. I I quit the job and it was just like no more. I'm not doing this. Nope. Nope, nope, I don't even care if I'm homeless. I don't, I'm not. <sighs> nope, not gonna do it. Oh, my dog's looking at me all cute. Whammies! Whammy, whammy, whammy. 
Uncle Mummy, he's been sitting there. He's my audience. He says, you're doing a good job. Okay, it's time to go now. <laughs> well, you know, going off on that tailspin, I'm not sure if I said anything that was important. Why do I keep saying that? See, that is a self-degrading mindset as well. You see how that came up automatically? I don't know if I said anything that was important as if, let me, let me think about what it is that whoever's watching this and how they're going to feel about it. Be like, oh, may, maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that one thing or whatever. And, and how, how are they going to take it? Are they going to get offended? Like, tailspin. Tailspin. You got to stop all that. Stop with the tailspin. It is as simple as just living your life. You can't have everything you want now. I don't want everything now. I don't want all the money in the world right now. What I don't want is a job because that would just rope me into another six to seven months of going backtracking and tail spinning and going off on a tangent and just destroying my life for the job. And I don't want that. My life is my job. <clears throat> I, will be, I will work for myself. It doesn't matter. The universe has my back. I'll figure it out. Anyway, I don't know why I went off on that. Wow. <clears throat> the message today is that you can be whoever you want to be and you can live however you want to live. It's just how you want to live it. It's how you choose to live it. If you want to live in filth, live in filth. But don't think you're there because someone else put you there. I mean, if you're living miserable and you can blame everyone, it's like... And by filth, I just mean clean, clean stuff. I don't know. You don't like how the house is dirty? Then clean it. I mean, it's like if you if you if you want to live a way, just live it. Just do it. I don't know. I think that's all I gotta say there.